Yo, what's up guys? Joey here, back at it again with another build. The budget we're working with today is $1,100. Here's my parts in front of me. Really excited to build this, guys. Like, the color combinations for this build are just spot on. But yeah, guys, this is how we're gonna do things. First, I'm gonna go over the parts, their prices, short summary on them and whatnot. And then second, we're gonna build the PC time-lapse style. Not a full guide, but I have done full guides in the past. If you haven't built a PC before, those are linked in the video description. And in the future, I'm definitely gonna do more. So turn on the bell notification icon to be alerted for when I post future PC builds. Anyways, guys, here's my parts. We have a lot to cover, so let's just jump right into it. We're gonna start off with our CPU and our motherboard. So the CPU we went with is the i5-8400. This is a six core CPU, it's locked. So here's the six core beast. We're not gonna be using this in this build because it's an insult to our entire system. So as I mentioned, the i5-8400 is locked. So we're not gonna be overclocking it. Temps are not gonna get so high. So an Intel stock heatsink is fine. This guy right here costs 30 bucks. Those 30 bucks could have went towards another area in your build to provide more performance. So yeah, guys, you don't have to go with this. The only reason I picked it is because I'm trying to have fun with it. It's gonna look really cool. You guys are gonna see what I'm talking about. So anyways, now that that's out of the way, that was pretty much the only super unnecessary part. And of course, the extras list that's not really necessary either that's also for aesthetics we should have just included this in the extras list but i didn't while i'm talking about the extras well there's always two parts list the first part list is what's totally necessary or semi-necessary to get the pc to function that's our 1100 budget but the extras list there are a bunch of extra stuff like the funko pops the rgb led strip and these vinyl wraps of course those were not counted as part of the 1100 budget so just to be clear on that okay guys so let's move on to our motherboard we went with a pretty beefy motherboard attention to detail on this motherboard is very high as you can tell by the picture it's rocking the b360 chipset which is locked you can't overclock cpus on it but that's okay our cpu we went with is also locked boom would you look at that the text i just i love the text it's red and gray it's gonna match the build perfectly even on the back where you're not even gonna see this in your build they still included text and it looks beautiful so we have four ram slots so that's great for future ram upgradability as far as the ports on this motherboard we're good six usb ports we even have an optical audio port to hook up your mix amp directly to it hd my port dvi port i don't know why that's there but yep this is pretty cool while we're on the topic of our motherboard as far as our ram we went with two sticks of four gigs for a total of eight gigabytes this ram's rated at 2666 megahertz it's red so it's gonna match our theme beautifully remember the good old days guys when ram was a lot more affordable the ram has tripled in price i foresee a future where ram prices drop when that day comes pc building will be more productive as more of the budget will go towards other parts and not the ram so our power supply 650 watt bronze rated nice so we got our power cables we have more power cables so semi-modular, I know I said this in the last video, but others may not be aware. Semi-modular means that some of the cables are not connected to the power supply, these cables right here. Fully modular means all cables are disconnected from the power supply. Why does that matter? Because some cables you will not use, which means you don't have to include them in your case, which means you have more space for cable management. Okay, that was a quick summary on semi-modular power supplies. And I didn't really notice this in the last video, but yeah, this I like the polish on this power supply. I don't know, I just thought I'd mention that. It feels good in the hands. Yep, feels good. And forgot to mention this, Arctic Silver. So this is the thermal paste we'll be using, the Arctic Silver 5 thermal paste. I'm sure our heatsink came with thermal paste, but I wanna use this one. Now, as far as our storage, we went with SSD hard drive. SSD is where we're gonna be installing Windows 10 and all our programs because then our computer will boot faster. This loads stuff a lot quicker than our hard drive. But we still got a hard drive because modern games nowadays, very large in size. This two terabyte hard drive should be enough for a while. 2000 gigs right here, guys. This is where we're gonna be storing all our games, only games on this thing. And we're gonna be wrapping our SSD with the red carbon fiber vinyl wrap. It's gonna look sick. All right, graphics card opening time. Oh yeah, look at this guy. So this is by MSI, the GeForce GTX 1070 Ti. Well, it's a beautiful graphics card. I'm really admiring it. Why are my eyes getting hot? That's, that's really weird. Okay guys, here we go. So this guy right here has eight gigs of VRAM, plenty for 1080p gaming and 2K gaming and 4K gaming, really. All right, here we go. Ta-da! Behold, the GTX 1070 Ti. So what's in here, guys? A lot of unnecessary things. You're not gonna need them, but I will show you anyways. Ooh, nice envelope. All right, guys, what do we have in here? Well, we have this. 
What is this? Well, man, oh man, look at all these languages. Hey guys, in the comments, um, be honest guys, how many languages do you know? I know only two languages, but yeah, I'm just interested. How many languages do you know? It's okay if you know one. So you know what? I'm gonna leave a comment down below. It's gonna say, how many languages do you know? And then right there is where you're gonna comment how many languages you know. And if you only know one language, then you only know the one language. We have stickers. Wait, no, are these stickers? I don't think they're stickers, whatever. We have a CD. We're not gonna use this because the drivers on here are most likely outdated. So we're gonna download the new drivers. And we have, oh, this is cool. Check this out. Remove the expansion brackets on the back of your case. Is that what they're called? Expansion brackets? I always called them, I don't know what I called them in previous videos, but I didn't, is that the, is that the official term? Ta-da, here comes the key. Remember to press on the side of the IO first, then finally press on the other end to complete installation. But here's our card. Play hard, stay silent. This is gonna match our build so well. And yes, this graphics card has a back plate. It's beautiful. Come on, there you go. So the case we went with, this is the Master Box Q300P from Cooler Master. So yep, this case, we paid 60 bucks for it. Comes with three fans, one fan right here. And then the two fans up here in the front are RGB colored. We're gonna be connecting the fans from this case directly to the motherboard. So then we'll be able to change the color of our fans, not by remote control, but on our desktop. So yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys before we start building. Well guys, that wraps up our parts overview. We're not gonna build this PC. I'm really excited. It's gonna come out awesome, man. All right, let's build this guy. Guys, this build is finished. It's beautiful. These two fans and then the light up here, those are controlled on the desktop. We're gonna install a program. As far as the LED strips, those are controlled with the remote. So yep, pink, red. That looks good, I'm gonna keep it like that. See how these fans are not spinning? I don't know if something got disconnected. I'll find out. Now, as far as our cable management, pretty much flawless, clean, very clean cable management we have going on in this build. All right, fans are not spin. Yep, they're not spinning. Problem solved. Okay, let's play some games now. They're already coming down. Here it goes. Here it goes. Action's about to happen. Three, two, one. Oh, that was spot on. Up the hill, up the hill. Oh, oh he's right there. He's right. No, what did I get killed from? What just happened? Oh, what? From where? Okay, let's see this replay. No way. What are you throwing from? Wait, did they, is he on top or bottom? Hopefully he's not on top. Oh, he's in the room. He's down. Oh my god, I got two. Two down. One down here. Reloading. Wait, is that right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is he there? Oh yeah, he is. No! No! I got this, bro. We're just gonna rush in there. Here we go. That was crazy. Right, okay. What 
up, buddy. Don't worry, I won't hurt you. Where you go? All right, see you on the. Oh no! What? Else? Why'd you do that? Would you? It's your problem, man. All right. Oh, I got him in the air. No. What? Calm down. Sorry. Oh! That was lucky. There's a lot of them. I need help, guys. I need help. Oh, nice. I got lucky right there. Dude. Close quarters. Dude. Oh, he had a shotgun too. Catch. Oh. <laughs> Try again. Oh, what a weak throw. All right. Uh, whoo, catch. Oh, I hit him. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I caught it. bottom and get a gun and then i'm gonna go on the top and get a gun and then we'll fight and there's no gun up here looks like oh yes there is there is a gun up here. is he already running up here don't run up here so quick i need to reload right all right now let's engage each other do you have a gun oh i don't think he has a gun because he ran the other way where do you, where is he going where are you there you are right behind me okay here we go oh! i was on that hill like for a lot of minutes and this guy was just chilling back there for the longest what the i'm just gonna throw grenades did they even reach that far oh man oh i knocked someone down Anyways, guys, if you watched till the end, I really appreciate it. If you haven't already, be sure to turn on the bell notifications for the channel. So when I post future PC builds, you'll be alerted. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Peace. <laughs>